Hello, sports fans and fans of the channel. I am here with another of my updates. As you might know, there have been a few leagues and projects that I have currently that I am uh, working on, and I just wanted to give you an update on those. There will be three updates in all. The first, as you can see on the screen, is from my 365 league, and then we will also update where my Stratomatic team is in the Elmwood League, and then finally we will look at my Chicago White Sox in my Project League, where I took guys from different eras and threw them all together in one league and formed a baseball league where my White Sox are, um, well, a team of guys that I call the Chicago White Sox are playing. So first we're going to take a look at the uh, 365 league, which is right here. And let me, uh, let me make myself a little bigger here. So here, this is the uh, 365, and this was my division and final standings. I was 81 and 81, and we will take a look at my stats really quickly, and then that's all I intend to do with this one. So here are the, uh, here's the pitching staff that I had. Roger Clemens was uh, 17 and 16 uh, with a 285 earned run average. Bert Blylevin was in the starting rotation. He was 18 and 15 with a 365 earned run average. Jose De Leon was in the rotation. He was 8 and 15 with a 379. And uh, Bill Gullickson was 18 and 11 with a 365 earned run average. And Scott McGregor was um, 6 and 9 with a 538 earned run average. Quisenberry was uh, one of my big guys. He had 35 saves and a 265 earned run average out of the bullpen. For the uh, batters, I mean, you know, you can take a look at these guys. I mean, I had some good guys, some bad guys. My catching was not very good. I had Jody Davis, and he only hit 200. And then Bob Melvin, who hit 096. Uh, Dan Dreesen was at first base for most of the year, and he hit 236. Tommy Hurd played a lot of second. He hit 265. Flannery was a, a utility guy, but he hit 281. Uh, Buddy Bell was probably my big offensive star. He had 22 homers and a 311 batting average. Wayne Gross had 20 home runs, but only hit 233. Um... A late acquisition a little later on in the year was Ricky Henderson, but he only hit 224 for me. Um, so, you know, you can take a look at some of these guys here and what their stats were. Incavelia was a late pickup, um, and he hit 301, but he was only good against uh, one particular handed type handed pitcher, and that's all I played him against. So you can see I only hit 254 as a team with a 325 on base percentage, but I had a 375 earned run average and a 124 whip, which were both really um, tops in the league, in this league. Uh, but all of that just combined to make me 81 and 81 and miss the playoffs. So that's what happened there. So now we're going to take a look at the Elmwood League. And let me slide myself over here, and you can see the, um, here it is, the Elmwood League, and we're going to go to the uh, league stats. And as you can see, I am second in my division currently at 20 and 15. And uh, that's, a, that's a good record, I mean, that's a great record for me. I mean, let's just be, let's be basic about it. And then we're going to take a look at the uh, statistics really quick. Um, we are, you can see there, 20 and 15, 9 and 6 at home, 11 and 9 on the road, 9 and 3 against lefties, and 11 and 12 against righties. So, got to get that record up against the righties. But uh, take a look here at the uh, at the batting. Um, Manessis, I just started him this week because I had 
couple of injuries and I was playing the uh, I was playing the the uh, um, desert dogs who I was at that time tied with at 16 and 12 and they're a division op opponent and I was playing the painted posts who uh, have a very good team in the other side of the league so um, I had to have a, a good lineup for this week and I put one together Manessis is hitting 500 after 18 at bats with a double and a home run um, and I have a lot of guys that are doing that are I'm I'm pretty happy with how they're doing. Khan is hitting 290. Uh, Eloy Jimenez is hitting 260 for me, but he has eight home runs and six doubles and 127 at bats. Uh, El Tuve is only hitting 259, but he started off horrible, so he's on his way back up um, the uh, leaderboard here, I think. Harper's hitting 311 for me with three homers and 20 RBIs. And one thing that's that struck me so far about this, Harper and Eloy Jimenez particularly have high injury ratings, but they haven't really missed any time or at least not any considerable time yet. Um, I mean, you can see we played 35 games and Harper has played in 31 of them and Jimenez has played in all 35, so he hasn't missed any time. And Harper's only missed four games. So if I can have that kind of luck with the injuries, I think we're going to be pretty good. Uh, down here in the pitching, the story, uh, in some cases it could be a little better, but, um, you know, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I still have a problem at my fifth starter. Uh, my top four are Verlander, who's 4-2 and two with a 219, Castillo, who's 3-0 and oh with a 241 earned run average, Cueto, who's four and one with a three twenty two, uh, Tyler Anderson. Uh, I'm. I, I think he'll get better as the season goes on, but right now he's two and four with a five twenty nine. But in the fifth spot, you know, I just have a rotating door because there's nobody really good for that spot. Archer has been my fifth starter. Manning has been my fifth starter, and and he's only a part year guy. And Hendricks has also been serving as a has served as a fifth starter in one uh, start, but again, he's only a limited guy. He can only pitch part of the uh, season, so I do have an issue at fifth starter. But that's not going to be an issue in the playoffs because we I can probably do a four man rotation in the playoffs, and um, you know. I'm 20 and 15 with a bad fit starter and like a lot of guys have a bad fit starter so if that's the worst of my problems I think I'm doing pretty pretty good so so that's where we are there um, doing really well and then now we're gonna take a look at my uh, project league my alternate league and uh, there we're not doing very well uh, as you'll remember, I made the central. I added the central division to this league. It was based on the '82 American League, and it only had the East and the West. I added the central, and we have six teams in every in all three divisions for a total of 18 teams. And my White Sox right now are only 16 and 21, so not a real good record. And let's take a look at how they're doing. Um, a lot of guys are really underperforming on this um, team. 16 and 21, 7 and 12 at home, and 9 and 9 on the road. I mean, we love being on the road, apparently. Um, and so let's see here. Let's go to primary stats. So you can see here, uh, you know, I mean, the, the best guy I've got for batting who plays a lot is DeSensei and he's only hitting 302. Now he's hitting 302 with 10 home runs and 139 at bats. So that is good. Um, and Tim Anderson's hitting 292. Um, Frank White hitting 290 with six home runs. Um, Pete Alonzo's hitting 269 with 11 homers. But then Ogilvy, you know, you got Ogilvy, he's got 11 home runs and seven doubles, but he's hitting 226. Tony Oliva is hitting 219. I don't know what's going on with Tony Oliva hitting 219, but that's what's what's happening. That's really what's happening. And Carlton Fisk with a 205 batting average and only one home run. I, I you know what what can I do with that? 
So we have a 386 earned run average mainly because the um, – well, I don't want to say mainly because of the starters. I mean, I have some starters that are doing really well, but I also have some really good relief pitching out there in the bullpen. Uh, Barlow's got a 263 earned run average. Mike Armstrong, 15 and two-thirds innings, 14 hits, and an 057 ERA. Um uh, Ted Abernathy has a 275 ERA. Caudill has Bill Caudill has a 287 earned run average. Bob Locke, really, it is. I guess it is really the relief pitching. Although this, there are some starters that are doing well enough. Clancy is four and three. He has a 382 earned run average. Um, you know, Gary Gary Peters is two and two with a 476. Bouton, Jim Bouton is really terrible so far. I'm hoping he can pick it up. He's one and four with a 658. So anyway, yeah, we're 16 and 21. Um, and we'll, I'll give you a look at the uh, the uh, league stats again, the, uh, the standings. So 16 and 21, third place, and we're 10 games out, and we're tied at 16 and 21 with Milwaukee. Um, and then Minnesota is also 10 games back with us, but they're 14 and 19. So Cleveland and uh, Kansas City really are the class of this um, division. California's leading the West at 24 and 16, with uh, Seattle only a game behind them. Now you'll remember the two uh, teams that I added late and drafted after the draft was effectively over, Tampa Bay and Arizona. Tampa Bay is 15 and 25, and Arizona's 11 and 16. And um, really the only reason we've gotten up to as good as 16 and 21 is because we just finished playing Arizona and took two out of three from them. So uh, that's where we are. That's what the situation is with that league and that completes my update. You're now up to date on three um, primary leagues that I am in and doing and or did in the case of 365 because that's over. I'm 81 and 81. I don't know who won the league, but I really also don't much care. So um, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.